Hello and welcome to this tutorial on green screening in Cloud Stop Motion. Today I'll show you how to use the chroma key feature to place your animated character, in this case our little penguin, into any world you like. I've started a new project in Cloud Stop Motion and set up my camera with my character in front of the green background. You can use green foam, card or paper, anything that provides an even colour. I've also added some lighting to brighten the scene and make the green background as vibrant as possible. A good green screen setup has a strong contrast between the background and your character. It's also important that the background is a consistent uniform colour without too many shadows or bright spots. It doesn't have to be green, but green is often the best choice. In Cloud Stop Motion, you have two options for applying the green screen effect. Either apply the effect live while animating, this makes it easier to align your characters with the background and see the final results as you go, or capture or import frames first, then apply the chroma key effect later. For this tutorial, I'll show you how to apply the effect live and then adjust it afterwards. To start, click the apply chroma key button. This opens the chroma key tab. Next click apply automatic chroma key settings. As we are currently viewing the live image from the webcam, the chroma key settings are applied to this live stream. Cloud Stop Motion will automatically select a background colour and a tolerance level. If your background has multiple shades or colours, you can add multiple keys to remove them more effectively. If the automatic selection isn't perfect, we can tweak these settings manually. Click on the key colour and use the eyedropper tool to pick a different background shade or use the slider to adjust the tolerance level. This controls how much of the background is removed. You can also expand the advanced settings for each key to adjust the smoothness, which softens the edges of your character, and the spill. This reduces the amount of background color reflecting onto your character. If needed, you can disable individual keys by clicking here or remove an entire key by clicking on the cross icon. And to add a new key, just click the plus icon. Most of the time, the default settings chosen by Cloud Stop Motion will give good results, but you can always adjust them here as required. Right, now the background is transparent, so let's add a background image. If you look at the timeline, you'll see different video and audio tracks. At the moment, we only have one video track. This is where the images captured from the webcam will appear. We want to add a new video track below this one and insert a background image onto it. To do this in one step, click Add Background Clip and import an image from the library, or you can upload one from your device. Cloud Stop Motion comes with a variety of backgrounds, including animated ones, which I really like. Let's select one. Once added, the background appears on a new video track. You can adjust the size of the track to make it easier to see by clicking and dragging here. It's useful to zoom out on the timeline using the slider in the bottom right hand corner. You can extend a clip by selecting it and dragging on the end edge of the clip like this or move it around by clicking and dragging on it. We can also add a foreground layer to create more depth to our scene. To do this, return to the capture track you can recognize it by the little camera icon. Then open the green screening tab and click Add Foreground Clip. Choose an image from the library. These are images that have some transparent sections so we can see through parts of them to the character on the layer beneath. Now we have our character in between the background and foreground layers, creating a full scene. Now that our scene is set, it's time to start animating. So I'll zoom back in on the timeline to make it easier to see what's happening. Simply click the Capture button to take a frame. You can do this from the Capture tab or in the main interface, or by clicking on the camera icon on the timeline. Each captured frame appears in the timeline. Keep moving your character slightly and capture frames to bring your animation to life. You can also press number one on the keyboard to take one frame, or two to take two frames, and so on. Once you've captured a few frames, you can play back your film to see how it looks. At any time, you can go back and adjust the chroma key settings for any frame you've already captured. To do this, click on the frame you want to adjust, then open the green screening tab for that frame. 
then add or remove keys or tweak the settings as needed. For example, I can remove the chroma key effect from this frame. Now if I want to apply these settings to all frames in the current clip, I simply click the apply to whole clip button. Now all the frames in this clip have had the chroma key effect removed. If I want to put it back, I can just add a key to one frame, then apply that key to the entire clip. I can refine that key as before, then apply those changes to the whole clip. This approach is useful if you import images into CloudStopMotion or capture frames without the chroma key effect applied. I could now zoom out and copy and paste my animation clip a few times to create a longer animation for us to watch. By reversing alternate clips, I can build up a looping action. And that's it. You've now learned how to set up and use the green screen feature in CloudStopMotion. With a little practice, we'll be able to create amazing animated scenes with dynamic backgrounds and foregrounds. Happy animating.